Uh, good morning, my name is Malika Shantut. I'm a PhD student at the University of Algiers, Hawari Boumediene. Unfortunately, I haven't the possibility to attend this Congress in person, so I would like to thank the Organization Committee for inviting me to give me this chance to present the essential my results about the combined effect of salt and temperature on heterogeneous Algerian stone's durability. The aim of this study is to evaluate uh, the potential weathering of three varieties of ornamental stones, standard durability tests such, are, such as salt crystallization, thermal shock, and fisto are usually employed to compare uh, stones' behaviors. Uh, the evaluation was carried out by non-destructive measurement such as uh, porosity uh, variation, the P wave velocity, and capillary water uptake. The residual deformation in fresh samples and those subjected to the different tests was also quantified by the use of uh, strain uh, gauges. Here uh, we have the geological uh, map of the Western Algeria. As we can see, the selected stones are Aintak Baletabiatin, the red limestone, and Kalkarit, which are uh, located in the tertiary basin of Tefna. Uh, they have an Eocene age uh, with prominent market that carries uh, several varieties of ornamental stones in this area. In this slide, we simplify the methodology followed in this study. Uh, we have done the stone characterization by the mean of petrographical analysis, density and porosity, uh, both water and mercury intrusion porosity was done, automate capillary uh, water uptake and the P wave velocity. Uh, for the durability test, we have carried out the three uh, tests, uh, namely the salt characterization, thermal shock, and uh, free stow, with two different immersion, uh, immersion in water and immersion in uh, saline solution, at two different uh, temperature, uh, at high temperature and low temperature. Uh, the evaluation was done by uh, non-destructive measurement, capillary coefficient, uh, P-wave velocity, and deformation through the uh, strain gauges. Uh, this figure show more details about uh, the petrography and pore system. The Tarbetian stone is a recrystallized limestone. It has an anisotropic crystalline texture with bands of uh, different color and uh, composition. Here we can see both primary and secondary uh, porosity can be observed. Uh, for the red limestone, uh, has bioplastic texture. The porosity observed in this stone is due to the dissolution of the calcite. Uh, for the calcarinite, is bioplastic limestone too, mainly composed of, by microcrystalline. Uh, calcite with bioclast, it is characterized by a uh, high primary and secondary intergranular uh, porosity. In this table, we can see uh, the physical mechanical properties of the studied stones. The stones show different differences in open porosity from around 5% for the travertine and red limestone to fi uh, 55 for calcarinite. The travertine and the limestone exhibited similar value for all the parameters versus calcarinite with higher porosity and lower stress. Uh, the stones tested porosity result obtained from the mercury uh, intrusion por uh, porosimetry coincided with the effective porosity uh, results. The results uh, vary uh, remarkably for uh, the travertine due to its heterogeneity. Here we have the result of uh, mercury intrusion porosimetry. Uh, as we can see, we have the cumulative and incremental uh, curves. Uh, the travertine curves started abruptly, indicating the existence of pores of a greater size than the largest. Um, usured by this technique. Uh, for the red limestone started with a high radio access value that also implied uh, bigger pores uh, that analyzed by uh, this technique. 
after a wide interstitial feeling between uh, 90, uh, 92 and 114 micrometers. Uh, for the calcarinite, uh, it showed a model peak at uh, 22 micrometers. Poor axis radii larger than 2 uh, micrometers were as abundant as those smaller. Here we have the results uh, of capillary absorption and P waves uh, for the studied stones. As we can see, the travertine and uh, red limestone, they have approximately the same porosity and uh, the same pore distribution, and uh, they showed similar kinetics, while uh, the calcarinite exhibited the highest capillary absorption as expected by its highest porosity. Here, uh, the calcarinite has the high, uh, the high porosity and also big pore. Uh, thus, uh, the, the P wave velocity was the lowest since the sound were wave is dissip dissipated through the porous space of the stone. For the second part of the result, we will go into see uh, the durability. First of all, uh, we start with the visual observation. The, uh, as we can see in the picture, we have lost of material, uh, mainly on the cut edges. Uh, the color uh, changes of uh, the solution are red for uh, red limestone and yellow for travertine and calcarinite. In, uh, in the red limestone, red uh, zones degraded preferentially. Um, here we have uh, the non-destructive measurement of a capillary uh, water uptake and uh, P wave velocity after, after uh, the test, uh, carried out after the test. So here we can see, we can set some conclusions. Uh, Tabertine experimented the strength, the strength just uh, variation with a decrease of P wave velocity and uh, an increase of uh, capillary for all the tests. Uh, for the red limestone, uh, it showed the slightest variation with the same trend as travertine. That was uh, a decrease of VP and an increase of uh, capillary uh, water uptake and with a higher change uh, in uh, salt crystallization test. For the calcarinite had different behavior for high and low temperature uh, tests. Thus, the, dry, the, the drying at high temperature preceded a decrease of VP and augmentation in uh, capillary water uptake more intensely with the actions of uh, salts. Concerning the deformation, as we mentioned before, only uh, the residual deformation was taken as the main degradation of the stones. Here we can see the sample of tabertine uh, that showed stable behavior materialized by quasi-linear uh, lines during the first five cycle. At 90, uh, 90 degrees Celsius, different behavior could be observed with an expansion for one sample at 19, uh, 90 degrees Celsius and an abrupt contraction for the others. Regarding the samples of red limestone, uh, the rock behaved the most between the sample and that showed different uh, according to the text. Uh, we have contractions and dilatation uh, at 105 degrees Celsius. For the calcarinite, the sensor gave, uh, gave a, a contra contradictory trend compared to the three others. During the drying at 16 degrees Celsius, no evident deformation took place for both tests. But in the, the change to 90 degrees Celsius, a decrease in the residual strength that was a contraction, contraction of the sample. Um, uh, <clears throat> now for the deformation in low temperature. 
uh, we can see um, travertine experimented crack development in both tests. The freezing of the saline solution resulted in lower changes in VP and C since salt might crystallize within the bigger pore, although not, not feeding them completely. For the red lame stone, uh, it showed greater changes in the sample immersed in uh, pure water than in the saline so solution. For the calcarine, it revealed an increase of VP and a decrease of uh, capillary. Uh, the latter, uh, especially in, uh, in uh, pure water test, thus the thermal contraction observed on the surface with the strain gauges for this test was extended to the wall samples, salt, cold, uh, cold half precipitated with uh, within the bigger poles that explain the VP uh, results. As a conclusion, the, the study of the petrography and physical uh, properties carried out on the algerian on the metal stone allowed to define three uh, different structure, a laminated massive travertine, stylolithered limestone, and porous calcarinite. Uh, the combined effect of thermal shock, salt crystallization, and free stone test modify the stone's porous network by opening and creating new fractures. Uh, finally, so if you have any question about this uh, study, you can contact me. Uh, I have I have my uh, uh, contact information here. Uh, and uh, thank you for listening to my work, to my presentation. Wish you the best and good luck for uh, enjoy the seminar uh, and thank you for all.